Hello, everyone. I love the energy that this band brought to this room. I hope you can feel it too. I'm certainly really, really energized. And I'm so excited to be here with all of you in New Delhi. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you. I'd like to welcome our partners who joined us here today. And I'd like to also say a special welcome to those who joined us on the live stream. But we have another special welcome. I want to say hello to all our fans from India who joined us here this morning. I hope we're going to make it exciting for you and worth uh, your time. Thank you. Appreciate that you made it over to join us. Because it's really thanks to you, to your support, your love, that we've been on this incredible journey for the last 21 months. We started with the aim to appeal to a new generation of Nokia fans. Fans who, like us, believe that a smartphone is more than the sum of its parts. It's about that holistic experience we've been talking to you right from the beginning of a journey. And that experience goes beyond just the RAM of the phone or the megapixel on your camera. It's an experience that allows you to get more from your day every day. And millions of fans around the world have already experienced their first Nokia Android smartphone. And now they're hungry for more. Our fans two-thirds of whom are below 35 years of age, have been sharing with us what their Nokia smartphone means to them. Our customer satisfaction rates on Nokia smartphones are incredibly high, and the great news is they're getting better day by day. Your faith in Nokia smartphones has really helped us to achieve an incredibly important milestone in a very, very short time. Today, I am very humbled, but also a little bit proud of the fact that in our new chapter of the Nokia brand, we've already made it back to the top 10 smartphone brands globally. <laughs> Certainly a place we deserve to be right from the start, and we're just going to grow from here. And in more than 25 markets, we are already among the top five brands. So we are going to push. We love the consumers you know, joining us. And this momentum really makes us one of the fasting growing brands in the industry. And we believe this is really incredible, considering we're less than two years young. And therefore, again, I'd like to say my deepest, deepest thanks to all our partners, of course, to all our consumers, but also to our team. I think we have an, a great team here in India. We have an awesome team everywhere in the world. Big thanks to you. <laughs> Tanya Vat. And we are focused on key markets to drive our growth. And India is very much at the center of this for the next coming years. We already have a strong business foundation here in India to help us become your smartphone brand of choice. But we will continue to team up with the best in the industry to accelerate our momentum here. And you'll hear more about a very exciting new partnership today. Going forward, you're going to see a bold and aggressive HMD even here in India. We will tap into the upcoming festive season with new launches, a journey that begins today. Together with our manufacturing partner, FIH, we will double down our manufacturing capacity in the Indian market to meet the growing demand. And as a result of this and the great consumer demand, we expect our revenues in India also to double by the end of this year. And to quickly gain speed on this journey, today we are very excited to bring to you not just one new Nokia smartphones, but two new Nokia smartphones. And to tell you more 
about these amazing new devices, please let me invite Yuho to join me on stage. Hey, Yuho. Thank you, Florian. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so delighted to be here again in India. Thank you for uh, having us. India is a very special market for us for many reasons. One of the key reasons is that we have so many fans here. I understand that we have some fans here in the audience with us today. Is that the case? <laughs> there we go. Um, I also made one promise to you guys uh, in social media that I now need to uphold too. I said that the next time I'm here in India, I'll speak some Hindi. <laughs> so I apologize for the pronunciation in advance. Namaste. Wait, there's more. <laughs> Namaste. Apka swakat he. Hopefully. <laughs> thank you. Hopefully, hopefully that was close enough. And hey, thank you again for being here with us today. And a big thanks to those of you who are joining us from home over so live stream. I always start my presentations with the exact same thing, so I'm not going to change it today either. I want to start by talking about what makes us different, what we believe in as a company and as product makers. The first thing that sets us apart is design. We stay true to our Nordic heritage, pure, truly emotive forms enabled by our leadership in material and manufacturing technologies. Secondly, for me, the Nokia quality resides in exceeding your expectations in real life. We obsess about integrating the latest technology where it matters the most. Florian said it really well. The phone is much more than the sum of its components. There's a bit of Nokia magic when we put it together. And there's a lot of insight that goes into crafting a true Nokia phone. Thirdly, we're very proud of our unique take on Android. We offer an experience that is fast, fluid, it's pure. We won't preload anything. You get to choose what you do with your Nokia phone. And it's always up to date and secure. In other words, Android One. We'll talk a lot about this today, but the key thing to take note of now is that it's a promise of a phone that only gets better over time, and that is always secure. You can trust your Nokia. Nokia 7 Plus is perhaps one of the best testimonials to date to everything that we believe in. It was awarded the ASA Award last week because all of the hallmarks that Nokia phone stands for. First of all, it's milled out of a single block of aluminum, finished with our unique paint system, dipped in an anodization pool to deliver that beautiful copper accent, delivering ultimate reliability, a design that doesn't quite exist anywhere else in the marketplace. It features triple size optics with ultra sensitive sensors, delivering one of the best imaging experiences out there. Our signature two day battery life, and it's a beast when it comes to performance. More importantly, the Nokia 7 Plus, just like all of our Android smartphones, only gets better over time. When you unboxed your Nokia 7 Plus, the first thing that you noticed was an OTA delivery of the latest flavor of Android, Android Oreo 8.1. We have consistently delivered on monthly security updates and also cool new innovation like AR Core, enabling you to access all of the latest augmented reality apps in Google Play Store. And it only gets better today. First announcement is that we're overhauling the imaging experience on the Nokia 7 Plus, Nokia 8 Sirocco, and Nokia Sister One today. Rest of the portfolio will receive the same update together with Android Pie, which you should expect from us rather shortly. The most visible improvement, based on what we've heard from our fans, is in the UI. We've streamlined the experience. We've made sure that all of the features are available with a dial with a single hand use. 
So a much cleaner, much easier user experience. And then secondly, we've, innovate, we've integrated cool new stuff, like Google Motion. So now you can take a picture, and you can animate a part of it, such as a hand waving while the face remains still. And you can share these uh, artifacts or GIFs easily over social media. We've also integrated Google Lens directly in the UI for easy, convenient access. Google Lens is a fusion of Google Assistant, obviously the camera, and a search, enabling you, for example, to study the latest uh, trends when it comes to fashion. Nokia 7 Plus was also one of the selected few Android P, or Pi as we know it now, developer program preview devices. It was announced in Google I.O. Like you know, today we're at the final stages of our Android Pi beta program. We will be the first, the Nokia 7 Plus will be the first device on Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 to receive Android Pi. I promise to our communications team that I won't give you any uh, timing or specific dates, because that always gets, gets us into trouble in the end, because we won't release until we have the absolute right quality. But I will say that I expect the release to be front part of September. And if you look at what we've done with Android Oreo, you should expect the rest of the portfolio to receive a piece of pie shortly after. As a part of the Android Pi upgrade, there's also a ton of cool stuff that you get only on Android One. Maybe the most relevant and most impactful thing is the app actions. App actions helps you to get the next ta task more quickly. The phone will preempt what you were about to do with it. You can access it in the launcher, so in the uh, base UI, Smart Text Editor, Play Store, and Google Search. I'm very proud of what we have accomplished as a company to date. I'm also super happy with a lot of the feedback that I see from our fans, from our users out there. At the same time, we are not content. We know that you expect more from us, and that is why we're here today in India. The theme for today is the latest innovation in the industry from the brand you trust at exceptional value. We will introduce a new generation of two Nokia designs, now in an all-screen form factor. We will deliver best-in-class performance for the value, and we will feature our own take on the latest imaging experience innovation in the industry. Like many of you know, we've actually tested this formula already in China. The Nokia X6 and X5 have achieved remarkable results. The Nokia X6 was sold out in 10 seconds on JD.com. Later on in the month, in key promotional dates, 10 Nokia phones were sold every minute. The Nokia X6 also topped the best-selling smartphone list at Suning in June, only to be replaced by the younger sibling Nokia X5 later on in the month. When we designed these phones, India was just as front and center as China. One thing that we did is that we asked you if you guys would like to see these designs, these products arrive here in India and in the global markets as well. We're very happy to see that you're game. Ladies and gentlemen, we will announce today the all-new Nokia 6 Plus and Nokia 5 Plus.
Nokia 6 Plus and Nokia 5 Plus. <laughs> Craftsmanship and a purposeful design is at the center of everything that we do. With Nokia 6 Plus and Nokia 5 Plus, we now offer our characteristic pure and emotive design language in a com contemporary all-screen design. As the craftsmen in the industry, you have seen what we can do with a single block of aluminium in products such as the Nokia 6 or the Nokia 7 Plus. Then we moved on to master class with the iconic Nokia 8 Sirocco, where we vacuum molded class into pure 3D shape. With the Nokia 5 Plus and Nokia 6 Plus, we bring best of both worlds together. Both of these designs are over 90% class on the surface area. We've chosen class from its prestigious look and feel and a lot of cool options to make for excellent surface treatment. It also delivers rigidity and a solid feel that you expect from Nokia. At the heart of all, both of these designs, you have an aluminum core. The aluminum core enables us to deliver robustness and resistance to bending to the level that you expect from a true Nokia design, while keeping the phones very lightweight. To give the ultimate feel in hand, the soft profile of the Nokia 6 Plus and 5 Plus perfectly means at the front and on the back the 2.5D class with a distinct Nokia style continuous curvature. While the Nokia 6 Plus features an aluminum body, the Nokia 5 Plus leverages some really unique technology that we've developed. The aluminum core is over molded with polycarbonate which is then finished with our unique nano painting technology to give you that beautiful gloss finish. Now when it comes to testing, these two devices, like any Nokia Android smartphone we make, goes through the most rigorous testing in the industry. In addition to build quality that you know us from, we ensure that these phones will perform and deliver in the coldest mid winter night in Finland, or the warm, warmest summer day here in New Delhi. Now, when it comes to the design, the display is at the center. In addition to delivering on our design ethos of high standard and high quality, we wanted to maximize the size of the display to the footprint, giving you the maximum real estate of screen in a very pocketable, minimal footprint. Both of these 19 by 9 Aspect ratio screens deliver over 80% display to footprint ratio. Now, when it comes to the resolution, the Nokia 6 Plus features a 5.8 inch full HD plus screen with an extraordinary color commute of 96%. The color reproduction ability of the Nokia 6 Plus exists today only in the highest end of the market. The Nokia 5 Plus, on the other hand, features an equally stunning 5.8-inch HD Plus screen for your gaming and viewing experience. Now, one of the key things that we've learned here in India is that many of you actually know exactly what type of performance you expect for the value. Many of the uh, would-be Nokia phone buyers here that we've spoken to actually told us the specific chipset that they wanted their phone and how much they're willing to pay for it. It's a very advanced, very demanding, very insightful consumer. So, and then secondly, you want it from a brand that you can trust, particularly if you're buying your device online. This is where Nokia 5 Plus and Nokia 6 Plus come into play. Nokia, a brand you can trust, and then secondly, the best performance for the value. The Nokia 6 Plus features Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 mobile platform. 
delivering 40% faster performance than the previous generation. But it's not only about performance, it's also about power consumption. When it comes to power consumption while listening to music, the optimization that Qualcomm has done enables you to save 50% more battery. And while you're watching movies, it's 20% more power effective. The Nokia 5 Plus, on the other hand, also features best-in-class performance with the MediaTek Helio P60 mobile platform. It has four big cores and four small cores, so you have extreme performance on demand. On the other hand, for less mundane tasks, you can, small, you can run on the smaller cores, saving power. Imaging is a key part of these two devices. The Nokia 5 Plus actually features a neural processing unit dedicated to run faster AI functions. We put all of that into good use when it comes to imaging. Both of these devices feature dual cameras. The Nokia 6 Plus has 16, .5, 16 plus 5 megapixels, while the Nokia 5 Plus features 13 plus 5. Now, the reason why the dual camera is so relevant in, in these two devices is the beautiful professional bokeh effect that you can create with them. We are very proud of the AI algorithms that we have deployed to perfectly se separate the layers in the image and deliver a stunning professional looking bokeh effect blurred in the background. Selfies are also very important. Nokia 6 Plus features a 16 megapixel front facing camera while the 5 Plus has 8 megapixels. Both of these devices employ AI-based algorithms to enable you to have an industry-leading experience. You can add light sources, so modify the lighting conditions, no matter where you are. We're also using AI to enhance one of our signature features that we introduced with the Nokia 8 last year, bothy or dual side. So now we can easily identify the faces in the images, apply filters or masks to both yourself and the person you're having a cup of coffee with, and you can live stream it directly to YouTube or on Facebook. One of the key reasons for selecting a Nokia phone is what I would call the best Android experience, or Android One. You can rely on us to deliver fast platform updates to feature the latest innovation from Google, such as the AR core. And you can rely on the devices to stay secure all the time. Android Pie brings benefits of AI to everyone. Your Nokia 5 Plus and Nokia 6 Plus will only get smarter with key features like adaptive battery or digital awareness and well-being. By the way, Android One devices will be the first to receive the digital well-being experience. Both of these devices also come enterprise recommended. What this means is that the Nokia 5 Plus and Nokia 6 Plus have completed the most rigorous testing by Google and ourselves to ensure that they are the perfect fit for your enterprise need straight out of the box. At this time, I would like to welcome a very handsome gentleman on the stage, our leader here in India, Ajay. <laughs> I hope you met that, meant that, uh, Yuho. But thank you very much, Yuho. And thank you very much to everybody here for taking the time and coming and attending this event of ours. Thank you particularly to the partners, to, the, to, the, to our friends from the media fraternity, and of course, to the fans. Thank you very much. I thought I'd spend a few minutes talking a little bit about the 20 months that uh, HMD Global has been around in India and widening and deepening our presence. The most important part is the brand. We have found that the Nokia brand, the affinity, the awareness, the familiarity of the Nokia brand has always been very high. But what we have found over the last 18 to 20 months is at the bottom of the fun funnel, which is the purchase intent, the preference, and the recommendation has increased double digit. 
And that is where I would like to thank the consumers of India for accepting Nokia and for buying Nokia and for recommending Nokia. We have done some tie-ups with large platforms. We tied up with the Calcutta Knight Riders, the Kolkata Knight Riders in the IPL sponsorship. And we found that the likability and the shareability of the Nokia brand and the awareness of the brand went up astronomically. It really helped and really worked for us. Apart from that, we have 550 distributors who are exclusive to us. I would like to thank them. All those who are watching on the stream, uh, on the live stream, I would like to thank them for their partnership. The 550 distributors covering 110,000 retail outlets, which has only resulted in our presence, our share increasing over the last quarters. And one of the testimony to that is our meteoric rise of our share in feature phones and our growth in smartphones. So thank you very much for that. We've tied up with uh, uh, online partners, but I'll talk a little more about that uh, a little later. We've opened care centers in over 300 towns. We have over 400, around 400 care centers that we have uh, ramped up in the country. So just to give you a sense that in addition to the manufacturing base that we have set up with our partners, Foxconn, that uh, Florian spoke about, we have really built the building blocks of the Nokia brand in India. Now it is time for us to scale up. It is time for us to really get back the mojo that Nokia, the Nokia brand has in India. It's time for us to get Nokia back to the position it deserves in India. And that is what we are working towards, and that is what we'll get to after today's announcements. We've launched nine smartphones in 2018. We launched Nokia One, and I'm really happy to announce that Nokia One, in the latest IDC report, has been declared as the number one brand number one device in the sub 5,000 rupee segment, which is an amazing uh, feat. You can see the array of our phones, and these are the phones that we just launched in 2018. The stylish 8 Sirocco, the 7 Plus that Yuho spoke about, the 6.1, 5.1, 3.1, and the 2.1 with the two-day battery life that we've just launched. Thank you very much. We've had an overwhelming response from the market. Now, we launched the 6.1, the 6 Plus, and the 5.1 Plus. These are targeted at the young Indian millennials. Stunningly beautiful phones with a full-screen immersive experience. This phone is going to be available on Nokia.com slash phones and with our partners, Flipkart. A minute on Nokia.com slash phones. So the Nokia.com slash phones features a full range of our devices. We, have, we launched it in the first week in April. If you remember the last time we met, we were just launching the Nokia.com uh, site. And we've since then engaged with tens of millions of fans in India. We've got some really, really good feedback. We've got some really good engagement with our fans in India. And it's been really encouraging for us. So Nokia.com slash phones is one portal where it will be available. And then, of course, it will be with our partners, Flipkart.com. At this point in time, I would like to invite Ajay Yadav, Vice President of Flipkart, to join me here on stage. Ajay, please, can I have the honor of having Ajay? Welcome, welcome. Thanks, thanks, Ajay, thanks, Ajay. Please. You know, I'm actually, uh, you know, since uh, Florian and uh, Juho did the honors of trying to speak in Hindi, let me converse in Hindi, and then I'll return the favor by trying to, you know, I'll get back to English. Uh, should I come here as a Nokia fan or uh, will I be representing uh, Flipkart out here? I'll just uh, tell you a small anecdote. Uh, my primary phone is a Nokia phone and I'm very proud of it. Uh, so in, in, in many ways when I speak about... Uh, yeah, it's a Nokia 8 Sirocco. So when I speak about Nokia, uh, you know, large part of that, some part will be the business-led part, where I'll talk about Flipkart, where I'll talk about our customers, uh, huge base, huge fans, uh, both for Flipkart and Nokia, and why Nokia and Flipkart are coming together. But as a customer, I about three days ago, I in Delhi. It was a late uh, flight, thi, ke I'm doing it on purpose uh, for both of you. I'm speaking in Hindi. <laughs> anyway, I went to, uh, I was booked at the hotel very late at about one o'clock in the night. I reached the hotel and I walked in there. I gave my phone to the receptionist and there was this young uh, guy, the millennial, the young Indian. He looks at the phone instead of looking at the, uh, you know, details that I'm providing him. He says, sir, which phone is this? 
I said, it's a Nokia, it's a Roco, polite conversation. Uh, hotel management teaches you to do that. Sir, can I use your phone for some time? And now, that's not very polite. <laughs> so I go like, okay, you want to use my phone for some time? And I'm generally wondering, I hope he doesn't access WhatsApp, he doesn't access, uh, you know, all the young kids will understand out here. Anyway, he fiddles with that phone for about uh, 10 seconds. Can I take a picture? Can I do this? Where do you get this phone? And he speaks about, after about 10 minutes, and I'm getting a little impatient, but indulging a very young, enthusiastic, uh, uh, kid at about one o'clock in the night, after about 10 minutes, he tells me, you know what, sir, I'll do you a favor. I'll upgrade you to a suite. Honestly, I've been working for about 24 years. Uh, this must be my 28th year or 30th year of using a phone. Never ever in my life has this ever happened, where the guy just looks at the phone and says, it's so beautiful, I want to use it, I want to play with it, and he upgrades. So that, that's my experience of... Uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that, that, that's my experience of Nokia as a uh, customer. Now, since I'm wearing a tie, I'll get back to my management style. So I'm representing Flipkart out here. We're extremely proud of our uh, partnership with Nokia. Uh, you know, just some uh, taking the cue from where Florian talked about, Ajay talked about, and Juho. Uh, see, even in online, there's this whole belief you know, that all the customers are a homogeneous mass. Everybody kind of looks only at... Uh, price and specs. You know, this is as erroneous as saying Indian customers like to negotiate. Indian customers like value. They do not like to negotiate. Negotiation is a painful experience where a customer never walks away satisfied that he got the best deal. A kinder customer would want an honest price, pay that money, and walk out of the store. Anyway, Flipkart is about 25-26% of the total smartphone market. One in every four uh, smart uh, smartphones sold in India happens on Flipkart. We, we talk very often to our customers. To that extent, Nokia and Flipkart almost have uh, the same kind of obsession when it customer comes to customer experience. Uh, uh, just as you experience satisfaction scores, we track NPS, and that's like the cardinal, the single biggest metric. What are our customers saying about us? Yes, we provide products, but it's the service that makes the hell lot of a difference. I've talked about many familiar faces. You're aware of what we do in terms of our coverage, in terms of our speed, in terms of our affordability options, in terms of uh, how we take care of the phone if there is something wrong. But coming back to the point, when we speak to our customers, uh, uh, that was the pivotal point at which Flipkart and Nokia uh, decided to come together about a year back. There was a crying need out there in the market where the customer was saying, a phone has to be more than the sum of its parts. Sorry, I'm borrowing the line. I love it. Uh, just because the customer is buying it online doesn't mean that the customer does not value design ID. See, it's one product that says a lot about you. For me, it, it led to a sweet upgrade. Okay. But when you keep that phone on the table, uh, when you hold that phone, you get up in the morning, the first thing that you see is your phone. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that if you're married uh, for about 20 years, believe you me, you will, the first thing you'll see is your phone. Okay. Uh, it kind of changes when you're early on in life. Uh, the customer's value design, the customer's value real life uh, experience. And that was the fundamental premise on which uh, Nokia and uh, uh, Flipkart came together. Our ambition is to be 40% of the total market by 2020. We made uh, a very overt announcement on it. That's about 14% share. More to be gained from 26 where we stand. I'm very sure I'm doing the target setting for Ajay out here, so Ajay, excuse me. <laughs> but I'm really hoping that by next year, H1, uh, Nokia should gun for 10% share, there are customers out there in the market that are crying out for what Nokia provides, the design ID and the real life experience. We are extremely proud that uh, we are partnering with Nokia. These are the first two phones uh, that you will hear about from a Nokia Flipkart point of view. Believe you me, there is so much more to come. Once again, thank you. Thanks for being here. As a Nokia fan, thank you. Thank you thank very you. much, Ajay. Look thank forward you. to many more successes. Yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. Our At pleasure, this point, can I have uh, Florian and Yuho on stage, please? Thank you so much. Oh, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. So I'm going to just... You. And that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. So these are the first phones these delivered the first phones that have been <laughs> delivered in yes. India yeah. to a Nokia, Nokia customer. Nokia 6 Plus and Nokia 5 Plus. Thank you.
Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank thanks, Ajay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need thank to see you so more much. often in India. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Same applies <laughs> to you, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. I guess we need a photograph. Okay. Is that close enough? Yeah. Every Nokia comes with an upgrade. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. So that was the announcement we had today. Of course, now we are looking. Uh, I know the my friends online are uh, getting quite impatient to hear a little more about the pricing. So let's start with Nokia 6.1 Plus. This will be available from the 30th of August on Nokia.com/phones and Flipkart. Dot com. It will be available at a price of 15 triple nine. At a price of 15 triple nine, the pre-orders on Nokia.com will start in a few minutes. The notifications will start on Flipkart.com also in a few minutes. On sale, like I said, 30th August at a very competitive price of 15 triple nine. We have an Airtel offer along with it. The details will be there on the websites. Please feel free to go out there and take a look at it. That is Nokia 6 Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, 15999 from August the 30th. <laughs> Nokia 5 Plus will be available in September. We will declare the pricing closer to the date. The global indicative pricing is 199 euros. But the India pricing, specific India pricing, will be available closer to the date in September. Again, available on Flipkart and Nokia.com slash phones. So gentlemen, that was, ladies and gentlemen, Nokia 6 Plus, Nokia 5 Plus. I would again like to thank each one of you on behalf of Florian and Yuho for having joined us this afternoon. We really appreciate you taking the time and coming and joining us for this event. Now I request you to come and experience the 6 Plus and the 5 Plus in the demo zone at the back over here and join us for some re refreshments and snacks. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, and look forward to seeing you again at another launch event soon. Thank you. Chip, chip. Thank you all. Uh, like Ajay said, I would like to invite our friends in the media to experience these new phones in our experience zone through the uh, stage at the, at the experience zone. Uh, could, could I request the fans to please join us for lunch? Uh, the excitement for our fans will start soon after. Would we'll request the fans to first go have lunch. The lunch is served at the pre function area outside. <laughs>